Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. You guys have been hitting me up, wanting me to talk about this whole Tokyo Vanity, Chris Brown situation. And as you guys know, I do follow Tokyo Vanity. She's from Love and Hip Hop. She also has her own, you know, kind of music career. She's a rapper, and she's best friends with B.B. Judy and Supercent. And it's that whole little clique from New Orleans, okay? And I hope I get a chance to run into them while I'm at Essence Festival. I cannot wait. I still have to, you know, start packing and getting everything together and getting up out of here later on. But I want to come and talk about this because the other day I did my video on Chris Brown. And I broke that whole situation down where he was talking about how he only wants girls with nice hair. And to me, I don't give a damn what y'all say in the comment section, nice hair equates good hair. Chris Brown knew what the fuck he was doing, okay? You like drama. I don't love drama! Yeah, you do. So anyways, what ended up happening is that Tokyo Vanity, she took to her Instagram and she basically talked about, you know, a reputation that Chris Brown is known for. I've known this. A lot of people in the industry have known this, that Chris Brown does have a lot of colorist tendencies. And so she was talking about how Chris Brown would not allow her friend into um, a particular section at the club because she was dark skinned. So a lot of times in the clubs in L.A., especially if they know celebrities are going to be there, they, one, will demand that you submit a picture you know, if it's like a closed type party, they want you to submit a picture. I've talked about this years ago. That was one of the first things that shocked me when I moved to L.A. Because it's like, okay, you're trying to get on the guest list. And the first thing they say is, oh, before you get on the guest list, we need to see your Instagram. Well, my Instagram is private. Okay, well, you need to make it public. No, bitch. You can send a friend request like everybody else, and then I'll approve you. I'm not making my shit public. It's public now, but you know what I'm saying? Back then it was private. I was, you know, you know, whatever. I'm always private, public, private, public. Anyhow, so that's not a secret. So this is what Tokyo Vanity... So Tokyo says, LOL, y'all been knew that though. LOL, it's true though. My homegirl went to the club one night with her friends and his section rules was no dark skinned girls. So after Tokyo Vanity wrote that, of course it sparked a huge conversation on her Instagram. Chris Brown then took her picture, okay, and then he wrote... Ooh, shit, at Tokyo Vanity. Damn, you fine, baby girl. Let me take you to dinner. Basically trying to be funny because she's a bigger girl. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Tokyo Vanity was not here for the fuck shit. She went off. She basically replied and said she wouldn't go to dinner with him, that she has a man. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip. Go ahead and check this out. Christopher Potts and Brown. Bitch, stop playing with me. Okay, all that talking about, can you take me out and all that? Like, bitch, that shit not funny. Second of all, bitch, I'm not even your type, bitch. You into things of, you know, lighter complexion. You know, coke, heroin, molly, acid, embalming fluid, Tokyo. cigarettes. I'm just saying, Puerto Rican women, white women, Asian women. You know, and that's all fine because that's your preference and we are entitled to a preference. Bitch, all I'm doing is calling it like I see it. When we was in the club in Miami and when we was in the club in L.A., bitch, in your section, your rules was no dark as you wouldn't let my homegirl in in L.A., but you let all her friends in. And in Miami, you wouldn't let my other homegirl in, but you let all her friends then but y'all was talking about no dark skin women all i'm saying is like a gangster how you feel stand on that shit because me however i feel about anything i'm gonna stand on it ten toes bitch don't come changing your opinion and how you feel about shit because everybody bashing you and furthermore i told my homegirl not to even be in your section because bitch she don't even do coke all right so you guys just saw that clip so after she went off then Chris Brown posted a picture of him and some dark-skinned girl. And, you know, she looks confused. She don't look too happy. I don't see no smile on her face. He's not looking at her at all. Probably looking at some damn racially ambiguous chick, you know what I'm saying, in the corner. He acts like he's dancing with the girl or like he's staring into her brown eyes. She looks miserable and he ain't paying her ass no fucking money. I'm like, out of all the pictures, you couldn't even show a picture of you, you know what I'm saying, with your arm around a little brown-skinned girl in your section. Chris, stop playing. So this is what Tokyo Vanity had to say. So Tokyo Vanity says, at Chris Brown Official, even though I'm block L-M-F-A-O, knuckle, it probably took you four years to find a dark-skinned girl in your section. You talking about one chick who you let into your section in Atlanta? I'm talking about the rules you had in your section in L.A. My nigga, I'm not bashing you because I don't give a fuck about your preference. Because in life, we all have preferences and are entitled to like what we like. But keep it 100%, slime. 
laugh my ass, laugh my fucking ass off at the club in LA. Your section rules was no dark skinned girls and your security made sure to let the bitches know and enforce that. My homegirl was there that night with her other friends and y'all let her friends in and stopped her and your security was like no darkie. Like a man, stand on what you say and how you feel. Don't renege because you're being bashed. That ain't gangsta. I'm sure your fans will relay my message since your fans are always attacking me in my DMs with fake receipts. Side note, I ain't never been known for lying on a B.O. nigga. And then she shows a screenshot showing that Chris Brown blocked her. <laughs> And then she decided to go on another rant. So y'all go ahead and check this out. And then for you to even come on the internet playing with me today, furthermore, let me know that bitch, you must be on them drugs bad. Because bitch, I don't even play with niggas like you. Bitch, I'll make a real nigga bat the fuck out you. Bitch, you'll really be around LA dancing, bitch. And it's so crazy to me how all y'all African Americans on here who got black mama, sisters, aunties, brothers, cousins, and sisters, uncles, nephews, and brothers. Um Y'all on here, like, you know what I'm saying? Acting like that shit. Who and bitch, y'all can say what y'all want by me. I don't give a fuck. Y'all ain't got to like me. All y'all on here talking about somebody doing something for Cloud. Bitch, I don't need no Cloud from Chris Brown. Bitch, all I did was, all I did was when I saw something on the shade room, bitch, I commented and said, I don't know why this shit is, why this shit is shocking to y'all. And I, all I stated was the receipts that I saw. Bitch, when he was in the club, he ain't let dark skin women in his section. I don't need no Cloud from Chris Brown. I ain't never had no hands out from no n Ain't no n never funded my campaign, bitch. I got my own money. Bitch, I'm booked almost every weekend. I got my own everything, and bitch, I'm 24. Never needed no motherfucking put me on. And bitch, for y'all that don't know me, bitch, you know me now. All right, so you guys just heard Tokyo Vanity's rant once again on Chris Brown. And like I said, I'm not shocked. This is another reason why I did not do a video on the whole Melanin Magic uh, video. That, like I stated in my other Chris Brown video, people wanted me to talk about the whole Remy Ma, Chris Brown, Melanin Magic. And I refused to make a video on it because I knew it was bullshit. I've heard the same thing about Chris Brown before when I lived in L.A. When Chris Brown throws a party, if you're darker than a paper bag, he's not checking for you. You bet not even look towards his section. So Tokyo Vanity is not lying. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I refuse to promote the song because I'm not going to promote a song with a dude who I know does not like dark skinned women. And that's fine. Like I said, everybody's entitled to their preference. You know what I'm saying? But don't do little slick shit and say you only want a chick with nice hair when you know what you're really trying to imply is that you want a chick with good hair. You want a bitch who can jump in the pool and her shit just, you know what I'm saying, just slides down her back. You don't want nobody with kinks and naps. Like, like, let's just keep the shit real. Let's call this stuff for what it is. Now, at the end of the day, Chris Brown is definitely entitled to his preference. It's no different than women saying, oh, I want a tall man. I want a man who's six foot six. They want a chocolate man and things like that. So we all have our little preferences. You know, so we're all entitled to have a preference. But what we're not entitled to do is to knock other people. Just because you like racially ambiguous, light-skinned girls with quote-unquote good hair does not mean you have the right to knock, you know what I'm saying, black women, darker-skinned black women, women with kinkier hair. Just like if a female only likes, you know, chocolate guys, you know, mandingos, does not mean you have the right to disrespect light-skinned men and and you know treat them like they're not as manly because they're not you know as dark as coffee you feel me so it definitely goes both ways but yeah she's not lying about this a lot of y'all like to argue with folks a lot of y'all like to get in your feelings cuss people out i've been getting drugged in that video but y'all know me hood i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck Y'all have fun dragging me. Y'all have fun calling me insecure. Y'all have fun calling me a bitter, dark-skinned chick. Honey, I done call me everything but a child of God on this platform. I'm so used to it now. It, water off a duck's back, okay? Don't care. The truth is the truth, you know what I'm saying? And Chris Bond is just salty because right now he's being bashed. And instead of him being an adult and either apologizing or saying, well, I didn't mean it like that, his rebuttal is to say that the only people who are mad are ugly. You guys are just ugly. You know, and that's not the case at all. So in my personal opinion, to conclude with this video, I definitely believe this is a teachable and a learning moment for everybody, okay? Y'all know how I feel. I don't do the cancel culture bullshit. Fuck all that. Y'all love to cancel people as opposed to, you know, just showing them the error of their ways and using it as a teachable moment. That's what I prefer to do on my channel. But y'all feel free to cancel whoever y'all want to cancel because let's keep it real. The next time he has a bop, these same bitches who are screaming cancel Chris Brown will be in the club dancing and shaking their ass. OK, now I do want to say this. OK, um, I noticed that on top of Chris Brown, like I said, he was in his feelings. So his whole thing was calling people ugly and saying, fuck y'all from the bottom of my ball. 
bras. The only bitches who are mad are, you know, negative booty face bitches. You know, that that's how he was carrying himself a day ago. And I didn't agree with that because there was a lot of beautiful women who just kind of saw through the bullshit and they were calling him out for it. We live in a day and age where people are, are hypersensitive and there's certain trigger words, you know, that trigger people in the black community. And we know this. Anything concerning skin tone and anything concerning damn hair, okay? Those are trigger words. Now, I would say in those lyrics in that particular song, there was a lot more derogatory things. You know, he was saying bitches and talking about coochies and everything else. That didn't seem to bother people, but you say some shit about hair, <laughs> people are going to get in their damn feelings, okay? So my thing is I feel like he should have handled it better as opposed to just saying that, oh, the only people who are mad are negative, ugly-ass females because that wasn't the situation and that wasn't the truth, you know? But I feel like this is definitely a teachable moment for a lot of people. Also, him posting, you know, um on his snap or on his Instagram story, a screenshot from his graffiti album where he has a song called Brown Girls featuring Sean Paul. And then he also posted that struggle picture of him and the one dark skinned girl. To me, that reminds me of when brands get called out for racism or not being inclusive. And then they'll like go through their archives and find the picture of the one black model that they used in an ad campaign from like two, three years ago. And they're like, look, we are inclusive. Here goes our token black girl. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel like he was kind of playing the situation. Like I said, I don't care about any songs that you have out. I don't care that you did a song with Remy Ma, you know, highlighting melanin and all that stuff. My thing is, you know, it's one thing to put out music. But how do you really behave in real life? And like I said, I've heard the same things that Tokyo Vanity is speaking of. You know, so I think for me, what Chris Brown needs to realize is that he has a wide variety of fans, okay? He has male fans, female fans, light skin, dark skin. You know what I'm saying? People who have a range of hair textures, gay, straight. And you need to respect all of those fans. I'm not saying let every fan into your section. Don't make people feel less than or feel like shit over features that they have no control of. Like I always say, I have no control of my features, my brown skin, any more than a female who's light skin or racially ambiguous has control of her features. There should not be all this hate and animosity because at the end of the day, we were all born how we were all born. So no one should make somebody else feel bad for not having particular features. Be respectful because at the end of the day, these Chris Breezy fans, his fans go hard and they've been going hard for you from day one, okay? They stood by your side through all your trials and tribulations. So really, you need to be grateful. There shouldn't be no type of stipulation. If anything, Whoever comes out to see you, you need to let all the motherfuckers in your section, truth be told, okay? Because they're, they're a diehard ass fan base. So there's, you know, all that colorism and stuff that goes on in the clubs and, you know, how they won't let certain girls into the section when he's there. That's not cool. You really should be grateful for these fans because these fans have kept you afloat all these damn years. Like, let's keep that shit real because the industry tried to cancel you a long time ago, particularly a lot of the black girls who are still fans of his. Chris Brown wouldn't be where he's at today. Now, on top of that today, he's also addressing it. It seems like cooler heads are prevailing. Um, after dragging, you know, the haters and the uglies, um, he decided to thank the people, to thank his fans and stuff like that for supporting him. So this is what he posted. Chris Brown says, hashtag indigo season. I'm so thankful for all the amazing support and love for my music. It's been a long road and a roller coaster, but it's all worth it because of y'all. Thank you. So that's what he posted. Um, and the, one of the top comments is Kelly Rowland, who's a dark skinned woman in the industry. And she says, we love you, Chris. And then we see real Swiss beats. He comes on there. He says, congratulations, King. So it looks like a lot of people are still supporting him regardless of the situation. And that's fine. Cause like I said, I don't, I don't believe in cancel culture. I don't make videos to cancel people. I make videos as a teaching lesson because I know how that feels. Canceling somebody is just so dismissive, but if that's what you want to do, you're definitely entitled to do what you want to do we need to realize that the hurt especially when it comes to skin tone and hair texture it runs very very deep in the black community and you know not trying to censor people but you need to realize that there's going to be a section of the population when they hear certain things it's going to trigger them you know so when you're saying nice hair you better elaborate and say you know nice hair meaning your hair is done and all that stuff don't just say nice hair because folks are definitely going to equate that 
to good hair, especially when you have a history of colorism. So the whole situation is insane. It's crazy. It's nuts. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on all this drama between Chris Brown and Tokyo Vanity. Do you believe what Tokyo Vanity is saying? Do you feel like she's clout chasing? And then how do you feel about Chris Brown's response? You know, he was dragging folks all day yesterday. Now he's thanking people. And then how do you feel about, you know, people in the industry like Kelly Rowland and things like that still supporting Chris Brown? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces